Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Smoke and right now, we've already finished off the last focus, and we must continue with another one, shall we? So right now, we're still waiting for the Griffonian Empire to do a little something, something to us, but getting more fuel and more construction speed seems pretty darn nice. So if you'd like to read about synthetic oil experimentation, please go right ahead. But let's continue, as I'm going to go ahead and read uh, Leonard Rodier's biography. The Marshal hero, traitor, the linchpin of the revolution, the new republic's missing link. One griffin can indeed be all of these and yet also none. But to explore that would be a waste of time, as Leonard Rodier isn't one for pleasantries and long-winded stories anyway. Born in Vanguardigo in 962, Rodier was destined for military life one way or another. His family was poor, but they had earned their keep as soldiers for generations. His father had wished to end that, wanting to establish his family as a small landowners in the rural region. But, as the revolution and monarchist terror swept through their homes, there was no other place to go. So in 982, it was off to a military academy in West Keep for Leonard, where he met a unique group. The MPA soon approached him on the academy's campus, noting his academic skills and strong personality. They welcomed him to the club. If they only could see him now, they would regret it, for his inviters were ardent monarchists, but his Rodier sunk deeper into the MPA and began to rise through its ranks. He found hidden within it new Republican circles, which he was far more fond of than stuck up a noble sons and daughters. After working with a certain Colonel Collette to cement a Republican hold on the MPA, Rodier began to bide his time. He made connections with other Republican groups, prepared for the exile's return and awaited the Second Revolution. So, when the moment came, he was more than ready. Rallying the military from the barracks in the capital, it was Rodier who seized the city and welcomed back the ever popular Verani, succeeding where the First Revolution failed. Now, Rodier stands ready to build a new strong Aquilia based on the ideas of national strength and honor. And thank you very much to Accident for the portrait. Was born May 28th. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, a new division? Nice. We have four more divisions, which is very, very bueno. Let us continue training our soldiers because, well, training is probably pretty good. Especially when the Griffonian Empire, when they do attack, or Sword Order of the East, uh oh, has half a million manpower and up to 77 divisions, which is quite a bit. They're doing Restore Order to the East, which is what? Right here? Angrever. Ah, and then eventually they will do Under a Clear Sky, so. Wing the body offers to compromise. During the tense diplomatic meet meetings held in Eaglers, during the Terran conference, the winged body and dignitaries approached Aquilian ones in private and made an intriguing offer. They offered a compromise solution in an attempt to please both Aquilia and Francistria. A new border would be drawn between the two nations, splitting the region roughly, evenly, and following ethnic boundaries. The initial map presented seemed rather unappealing, but a more refined version with less irregular borders proved to be more satisfactory. The Aquilian dignitaries were hesitant, however. It was a half-hearted solution and would mean splitting the region for many years to come. Perhaps tensions would simply reappear later. The diplomats had a difficult choice to make. That was good enough for us. As indivisible? Well, we get some now, and we get some later. That might actually work out quite well for us. I don't want war with the winged bodies down there, but the talks pass. The Aquilian delegation and Eaglers received good news, as winged body negotiators managed to make Francistrians agree to the proposal. This means that all three parties were willing to ratify a treaty to finally resolve the Terran dispute instead. Indeed, within hours, a final treaty was drafted and signed by all delegates involved. The compromise went into effect on the following day, and all sides were quick to follow its conditions. Thus, peace was established between Aquilia and Francistria, and it was hoped that peace would last for many years to come. Peace at last. Well, probably at least for a few years, so... Oh! Now, isn't that beautiful? Now, that's too much resistance personally for me. 0 0.3, 0 0.2 is dropping now and going up by 0 0.1. Not bad. Civilian oversight, I think we would prefer that. And also, as I'm sure you guys said in the comments, um, yeah, I've already raised up all the compliance and put down resistance, so we're doing pretty darn well here. So, uh, if you like to read about this, please remind me to not look at the, gun, glo the sun. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. So, very cool. And we already have 310 support. I mean, that's pretty good. We can continue doing that as well. And we have executive orders here. Speed up the assembly, which hurts our stability. And generous tax breaks, which hurts our stability. And then uh, expand agricultural subsidies, which, as you probably guessed it, hurts our stability. And encourage army recruitment, which is not too bad, but once again, that stability thing, oh, that hurts. But let's continue with the Quillian Standard. So we get more construction speed, cap, and growth, which is very, very good. Because then we can do electric investments eventually. Not yet, though. And I would like to build up the navy, but that's not going to matter too much. I think next, since we're waiting for... Because I wanted a defensive war. Oh, nice. I, I really, really want us to have a defensive war. Um, so, fighter models. Actually, we could use more aluminum immediately. I really want to do some more uh, army tech. But we'll probably do the third branch of the military. So if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Decryption is very good. It is almost 10, uh, 12, though. Almost 10, 12. And our armies are looking okay. Not bad. They're mostly 40 combos, which is pretty good. Oh, the Knightly Order of the... What the heck is that? It's 
Asphalt Island. Oh, Prywin's down there. Oh, okay. Order of the... Oh, Francis this is Francistria. Gina de Gioia. Huh. Defender of the Faith. We have an aggression pact with them. Piemontese Constitution. That's not bad. Uh, oh, nice. Grafen Martian. Trade with Skyfall. Patriotic League has been defended from them, huh? And Grafen Martian is, has, of course, been expired. Cool. Let's go ahead and let's keep going down here. Oh, we can do that first. That's fine. Let's close out of that one for now. Military training. Or military actions. Yes, please. And can we do widespread radio implementation? More. Oh, we need 100, though. Oh. Plus 1% more initiative. Well, that's not bad, but still. Alright, so we got enough of this. We definitely need to raise our conscription level up some more, but we will definitely need to get this guy. Unless we want more attack. Ooh. They're exactly the same. Lionella Brochard. Or we go over here and get him as well, but more attack is not bad. More defense is not bad either. I would like 15%, but let's get Lionella probably, but since we're here, 10, 12. Uh, industry is usually pretty good, but we already did industry. Lighter craft, grass, grass, cast, uh, naval stuff. Oh, ship designer, yes. Last cost, Mr. Al, very, very good. And the third branch of the military, so we can get down to here, so we can get some more aluminum, because we definitely, definitely need some more aluminum. Very, very good. 310 is still pretty nice, and we're still building up... Well, actually, we built up a lot of things. We're actually running out of things to build. Wow. That is a bit extreme, but that's okay. More output? Yes, please. More more output, because we'll need it eventually. And we'll raise the conscription levels as well, and get some more military factories. That's super, super important. Because other than that, we have a lot of things to build. We're just making sure that our divisions are completely rock solid whenever we do go to war. And in addition, we should probably do this. We should probably get some planes up there at least a little bit. I think that's just probably smart to do. But let's also become a spy master. Griffin still enjoying the Carthanian Pact. All right, then. Blueprint stealing. That's fine with us. Formalization of the Chiaz Biakal Pact. Today, the delegation from Wing Body has arrived in Aquila. Sent by Giulio Biccolini. The delegation met with Leonard Rodier and discussed the prospect of formalizing the previously signed Chiaz Biakal Pact and turning it into an alliance between the Kingdom of Aquilia and the Carthanian Pact. Or the Styrian, huh? Both. As of lately, both nations have been aiming for a detente, but both sides have finally put a decisive end to the long-lasting Terran conflict, and ever since their relations have only gotten better. After signing a defense pact, it would only be logical to go further and sign an official alliance between our blocks so we can unite our forces against common enemies. On the other claw, it might be better to bide our time, as the situation in the region can drastically change in a matter of days or weeks. We would not want to get in trouble because of our own poor decisions. Ultimately, Leonard Rodier will decide if we join the alliance or not. Oh... So, they're going down this path, which is kind of cool. I've never seen that path, so... I kind of want to see what happens down there. Support these guys. Trade with these guys. Terran Compromise. They already did that. Join yeah, you know what? Let let let's accept. Why not? We were in the Entente, but now we've chosen a really cool faction to join. Nice. I've never seen that happen. Then again, like I said, it is historical. Or ahistorical, so... It is ahistorical. Uh, we could upgrade them, but nah. Okay, let's do that one first, even though we probably want more planes. And... That's not bad. Let's grab some more bombers then. We like it. And we're going to get some more PP because we're going to need more military. Uh, some more military. Uh, some more manpower. Pony power. Establish regional Abteilung. Huh. For something. For Recruitierung. The Air Force Debate Doctrine. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Dragon and District Capacity. Um, I forget which one. Uh, aviation Industry Development Grants. We definitely need that one. So there you go. Cool. And I believe we probably want to go with Tactical Bomber's Operational Integrity. Thank you very much. And now we get a bonus for that stuff. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Go and do that. Three on oh, did we lose one? We might have lost one, huh? Just because we're part of the Alliance now doesn't mean we won't leave it later, so... W widespread radio implementation? I think so. Well, that's one is Pegasus Divisions, too. That's kind of cool. Blueprint Stealing, Portable Radios. Thank you very much. And looking not too bad. You know, we could probably use more dockyards, honestly. We could probably really use more dockyards. Come on, Griffonian Empire. Please go to war with us. Please. Or just go to war with those guys up north. Yeah, go to, go to war with those guys up north. That's probably better for us. Encryption is good. Let's grab some more construction speed. Because I love, love, love me some good old construction speed. Nice. Now these guys are really fleshed out. Now we're almost out of manpower. Oh, boy. Let's cut it down by two. Slave a little bit more pony power. Mechanized Offensive, thank you. Disperse Industry, thank you. Get some more production, and then we'll probably get some more extraction. Oh, we can actually lower this. Nice, we actually have enough rubber right now. That's actually pretty darn cool. Let's get some more passive defense, because you never know who might be invading our little lands here. So, come on. Please go to war with us. Actually, you guys have no objectives here. 
Um, I, I, it needs to be a defensive war for us. Just because... Actually, let's grab... Uh, I kind of like that one, too. Armor Grants? That's not bad. I wanted it to be a defensive war because... We get to the call and these guys up here, too. So, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Get more planes, maybe? Get more planes, since we do have enough rubber for now. Uh, light tanks? We probably do want to get some medium tanks, though. Cool. Let's see. Anything else? Yes. Better planes? Cast? We're not using cast. Fighters? Probably get some fighters. I did say we want more manpower, but we'll get there eventually. We definitely, definitely, definitely will. Oh, we're done building up all that stuff? No, we're not. That's a lie. One, two, th and we're building, 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 which is great, great, great. Oh, we can't do... Oh, Farbrook just declared war on itself. 1.55 political power every single day. And let's come over here and do some of psychological warfare. Very nice. All right, so here's the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and do a lot of these off screen until like we go to war with the Griffonian Empire. Because we could go to war... We could call in Carthinian Pact as well, but I think we're going to wait. So if you want to read about these focuses, please go right ahead. We'll do this one just because I want to get some more dockyards first. We can build up more ships. Um, we'll do this one probably. Field support battalions. Mac 42s. The armor research grant. Or from the Commando Marine. Le Jeu d'Armerie. Mass mechanization. Le Corps Logistique. Actually, I might as well just show you all these at this uh, at this moment, so. Bomber Escort Craft. Fighter Craft Modernization. Aquila Institute of Aerodynamics is very cool. Actually, we should probably get that one very soon. Infantry Support Craft. Combined Arms uh, Tactics. Payload Calibration. Um, so, there's a lot of these here, obviously, but we can't do all of these, which kind of sucks. Well, actually, we will probably do all of these. It just I, it sucks that we have to wait so long for them to go to war with us because it's on a historical, but that's alright, you know. Cruiser Development, the Floating Fortress Doctrine, Restart Battleship Development, as well as Periphery Development Scheme, Electronics Investments, and Project Democles. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright everyone, so I kind of forgot that the Griffonian Empire was going to go to war with Skyfall, which they did, and then they called it in the Griffonian Republic, which is slowly losing actually. Um, let's take a look over here. They didn't actually call me in because they technically didn't get declared war upon. Skyfall did. They have no manpower. These guys have no manpower, and these guys have a lot of manpower, so let's go and struggle a little bit, shall we? We're going to call all of our allies in. So we'll see what happens. Do they attack us? Maybe, maybe not. Um, our guys are actually pushing in. You might actually be able to do okay. I should have probably already went ahead and did this, though. Uh, let's do some of this first, probably. That'd probably be a little better. Old Wingbird. That'd be probably pretty good. Head on up there, too. Can we actually win over here, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. I did throw a few more planes on here as well. Oh, we're fighting Bronze Hill. Let's take a look. That's a Oh, the Republican Pact. They've lost a lot of guys. They've lost a lot of dudes. We've lost a thousand so far. We're going to need way more PP for this war. Wait, of course, then again, they're fighting another front down there, too, which is uh, pretty good, I'd say. Pretty darn good. Um, for this one, though, we could really use more extraction, probably, because this will help out rubber and aluminum. And actually, I already stopped making new sh uh, stopped training the ships. Stop training the ships, so. We're going to need a lot of fuel for this, but that's alright. The March of the Falcons, an interesting development. Very nice. So let's see what we can do. We're not winning it everywhere, but that's alright. And with them on several different fronts, that's pretty darn bad for them. But I guess we'll see what happens to the Rising Empire, huh? Hopefully we can get more map. Oh, they mobilized well, more service by requirement. We're definitely going to need to do that when we get there. We Oh, oh we had, I forgot we had soldiers done that. I forgot about you guys. Whoops, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. I totally forgot about those guys. Totally, totally, totally forgot. That's alright, though. They forgive me. Probably. Alright, so we've lost 11,000. We've killed off. 70,000, that's not bad. Almost a 7 to 1 casualty ratio. Not too bad. Let's grab some more extraction as well, though. Tons and tons and tons of extraction. And we want to stop since we don't have any more manpower, so. Yeah. Actually, because of that, we could probably cut down some of these guys, actually. There you go. Save 70,000 manpower. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Let's see what we can do. Tanks, you want to go as well? That'd be nice as well. Yeah, and with us coming into the war, that definitely helps these guys out, so. Do that. There you go, just in case. Head on over, because this is not going to be too bad. Now, I might betray the Kingdom of Wing body later on, but we'll, we'll have to definitely see what happens. I'm, I'm not convinced that we will yet, but we might, just because we can. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how far we go with this campaign. Actually, how's the far eastern side doing? The River Coalition? There's a lot of broken up people here. Oh, Gesellschaft? The Sudcontinent Gesellschaft by Griffiths. Oh, Governor General Felchin. Okay, that's kind of cool. Financial expert, that's kind of cool. And we just did field support battalions, which is nice. So now, let's go back actually down here since we're at war. We'll do on our own anyway, so. We get more attack. And I wanted to say this for when we were actually at war, so I think that'd be pretty appropriate right now. And we've killed off 
140,000, 160-some thousand of them. It's taking 25,000 casualties, not bad. The fall of Griffenheim, very, very nice. Now, because we are the reason why the Republic back is not going to die yet, we'll probably just go ahead and uh, probably annex them ourselves, which would be kind of nice. Yeah, I didn't guard all the little lands. There we go. Keep going. Yeah, this is not too bad. All you gotta do is justify win their war. The Empire strikes back. Seems there's still hope for the Empire. Uh, maybe? Maybe? That's a definite maybe. That is a, uh... I mean, they're doing well over the, 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 you know, the line over here, but eventually that line's gonna fall. Changings occupy polar bears. All right. Nice job, guys. We're taking a lot of losses. 36,000. And we've contributed 49%. The vast majority of everything. We've killed off 200,000 for all taking 40,000. So about 1 to 5 ratio for us. Not bad. Not bad. We're doing a whole hot, lot of heck of damage, by which is very nice. But maybe we'll give up some territory to those guys in the north. We might. And maybe a little bit to wing body as well. Since we technically are allies. But before we end the war, let's go to service by requirement. We're going to need them ponies. we definitely going to need them ponies. So, oh, This will bypass the following focus. In the faction of the Griffonian Republic. Okay. Um, when are they going to fall? That's my question. Oh, Katernberg, where are you guys at? Okay, they just fell. That took less than five minutes. Wow. All right, then. Skyfall. Do you have any claims or cords on this? Fethizia, no. Um, Kingdom of Griffinstone has done quite well. So instead of giving this up to Winged Body, how about we give it to you guys? Burning Empire, there you go. You can have some issues with those guys. There you go. Now there's going to be a lot of resistance for us to deal with. I'm not sure dividing it up like this is a really good idea. Probably not, but that's alright. You can have... Uh, that's fuel. Rosenstadt, there you go. You can have that too. It's going to look really bad. And Griffin Republic, you can have... Something like that. Cool. Bronze Hill, I'm just going to take... Just go and take them all. We can probably liberate them with a peasant state. Oh, actually doing it like this is probably a really bad idea. That's why we have the state transfer tool just in case. Because, then we come down here, and we can do the order. Proclaim the Empire's defeat. Nice. I don't want to do the resistance. That's really bad resistance off the denunciation. The Assemblée Nationale was in uproar today. As both Theodore Varani and Grand Cru have both openly denounced President Rodier and the NPA. Reportedly citing the nationalistic policies and cultural assimilation as a perversion of the revolution, they have completely withdrawn their support of the current administration. While President Rodier's legitimacy remains intact, this could not come at a worse time. Our coalitions with the Patent and PDNA have completely fallen apart, and the support of the deputies is necessary to continue our current agenda and begin the aquilification Aquilification faction, aqu aquila, faction of our outlying territories. The administration and integration of the newly acquired Hatchland regions are also proving difficult for the worsening problems, like hurting a bunch of cats. Oh crap, Hatchland Blues, we get more political power though, which is nice, but still, oh my goodness. That is big sucko. Oh, did that stop this? Oh, come on, why? Oh, that's not the dead's fault, it, it's just part of the game. Um, we could do this. Oh boy, 161, well... PDNA? Will they will they actually help us? But because we we have this little thing here, Hatsland Blues. Well, I mean technically, we don't have any cores here. I mean, I guess th this stuff. Yes. Huh. Is this? Oh, look at that flag. That's really cool. Well, oh well. I guess we'll continue doing the stuff down there. Maybe. Uh, it doesn't even matter at this point to doing that stuff. So it only lasts for a year. So whatever. Um, economic projects. Sure, why not? The periphery development scheme. Why not? The Republican Pact is gone. Yeah, we might want to take them out. We might want to puppet them. They had a little bit of manpower left. Oh, they still have some manpower. You guys still have a little bit of manpower, too. Um, hold for now. And any new divisions we'll throw onto this part of the line here, too. At least we mobilize first. A grim necessity. To Rodier, war was a simple affair. When the politics of words and debates failed, the politics of blood and iron took over. War might be cruelty, but to waver was the greatest of all cruelties, and since the pain inflicted would strike your own people. You had to take a stand, and you had to do it thoroughly. It was none of your business to protect the people who set their grips, their guns, their tanks, and planes, and all that was of any account to war against you. When your enemy came to do you harm, you let them reap the consequences. Your duty was to end the fighting by whatever means necessary, and ensure that when peace came, it'd be a lasting one. Destroy their willingness to fight, tear down their banners, and do away with their symbols. You cannot leave anything to chance. The Hatzland Griffins prided themselves on being the champions of the Empire and the ones who had fought off for the Grove, or fought for the Grovers from the very beginning. There was no reason to think they would not do as to do so to the bitter end. The Empire and the Grovers were one and the same in the mind of so many. And ever since the last Emperor's death, Duchess Gabriella Eagleclaw had exploited the young Emperor well, propping him up as a symbol to fight for. It was a clever move, not least because defending children was something primal to every creature. 
Swirling the liquor around in his glass, Rodir stared out into the air as he mused on the order he had, he had given. Warwell's cruelty had to be. Hesitation took much more lives than you can imagine, and for the sake of peace, you had to do what was needed to be done. A carefully picked team, a nightmare, a nighttime raid, a silence pistol in a deep grave far into the woods with a grover, the last, well, the last grover mysteriously vanished, the zeal will go out to the Hearthslanders, and a lasting peace could come faster. As for him, he'd do whatever soldiers was meant to. He would shoot or shoulder the guild and carry it to the grave. Let it die with him. Only then the matter would be settled and there could be peace. I do what I must. Very, very true. Cool. And actually, I'm going to... I want more millies. But we already have a good amount of stuff for now. So what I'm going to plan... Actually, we can probably do this anyways. It'll help save on resources for now. We're going to do Fleet and Being, which is nice. It is 10-12. We're doing very well on this stuff. We can grab some more rubber here anyways. I want to build a more industry so we can get more resources. Let's go and do that too, and work with the pat. Logistics too, which is nice. I uh, don't need that one yet. Let's grab not that one yet. Let's grab this one. Improve infantry equipment. Nice. Hey, we're mobilizing more. Great. Which we did say to mobilize more, but whatever. We did say that. Um, there you go. One, two. Throw them right there, and then one goes right there. That Helquillen request. The Griffins of Helquill have approached us with a request for protection. Namely, a formal guarantee of independence. Our advisors are split on the matter, though Hellquill argues that their safety is in the best interest of the Second Aquilian Republic as well. On the other claw, protecting Hellquill means we we'll might be get dragged into war with the entire River Coalition. How shall we proceed? We shall guarantee them their reserve protection? I'd rather just kill them off, I'll be honest. Hmm. I wish there was another option. We shall guarantee them. Well, the River Coalition doesn't look that bad, but then again, it's probably paying the butt to take out. Uh. Eh, they don't deserve protection, whatever. We already have allies to the south, so. Very cool. Ah, and we can do one of these. Integrate local parties? Yes. Yes. A great Aquila. Ah! We, core ac begin the aquilization process of all skies, falls, and Greifenbosch's original core lands. The dream of a greater Aquilia has been in the minds of the MPA and, and of President Rodia for some time now, and with the fall of our main rival, that dream is finally within reach. Through the rapid Aquila faction of neighboring Hearthland territories, the natural borders of the nation will spread farther than they ever had before. What's not to love? And we'll work with the FJ8. Because they will love us no matter what. Oh. Okay, then. Alright. Griffonian Republic. Yeah, we're going to need more divisions. And we have 12 still coming along. How many divisions does the Skyfall Republic have, especially since we give them territory? Up to 80. That's a lot, but they have no manpower. These guys have a little bit of manpower and up to 83 divisions, so we'll see what happens. Oh, and we got those 12 divisions up, and we're out of manpower ourselves. Not good. Not good. Let's go with Eagle Heart. Cool. And since we're running out of manpower, one, two, three, four, the Helcolina request. Um, well, there is so you know already, but maybe they'll keep asking. PDNA, you better work with us. Oh, secure Greifenmaschen, very cool. Oh, so we got that one done already, so if you want to do about that, please go right ahead. Let's integrate the local parties. In our annexed territories, there are many local Republican parties which used to campaign in their respective regions. By integrating these parties into the main Aquilian ones, we can once again give them a voice in the government and make allies across the whole parliament at the same time. Oh, oh yes, phase one, two, and three. Lose political power and stability. Alleyway change to Alle. Old Wingberg to the Aldenbourgeois. Thurwingen to Thuringway. And North Form changes Norris. Norois. Cool. Let's get that done as fast as possible. And let's come back over here and do some more battleship stuff, guys. We can continue training because we can. Because we love training here. There you go. I really need to do more ship stuff. Oh my goodness. Rubber processing? Yeah. I did say we do it, so let's get some more ship stuff done. Heavy ships? We love them heavy. The heavier they are, the more is they're usually there to hold, I guess you could say. We're going to be independent of other people's resources someday. Probably not today, but someday. And if we really need to, we can we can build. Actually, we need to take a look at the leader, uh, whoever is the leader of this Hetzland. Cool. Nice. Actually, go right there. We need you on that part. And of the Hetzland Republic, it is Andre Hebrang. Hebrang. Hebrong. Okay. Cool. There you go. Mechanized defensives. Very good. And shock and awe, because we love shock and awe, because we love more soft attack. Hit him harder. Hit him softer. 
and to get local parties. Secure Skyfall? I like that one a lot, but we don't have enough divisions yet, in my opinion. Reinforce Integralism? Ooh, alienate people, get more political power, less stability, but more less resistance. Limited Multilingualism? Mm, lose political power, get more stability, more compliant with growth speed. So we lose 35, 30, oh no, yeah, 35, 40, 50 deputies versus 15 plus 50 deputies. Cultural Integralism? Limited Multilingualism? Expand Legion Etrange. Railway Centralization. Increased military spending. The game was rigged from the start. Pretty much. The Twin Eagles. The Lone Eagle. The Marat Plan bolster the Hetzlandish Republicanish God. Or Proposal of Volino. Oh. Proposal. War Games. Aquilian Marriage. Whoa. We get to get married? The full merging of the Alliance. Uh, well, there's new allies on the world stage. Oh, I think we already had that one. Liberators, not imperialists. Headstone Republic of Fully... Why would we want that? No, liberators, not imperialists. From the GIGN, which makes sense. Um, re redraw electoral borders. Increase the amount of political power needed for the colonialization process by five. Alienate. Special legal privileges. Ooh. How hard do we want to be going down this way? Less local resources, but more local only power and compliance growth. Speed, ignore the mess. Consolidate the farmlands. Uh, I kind of prefer this one. Ignore the mess. Special privileges. What is it? Cure the oligarchs. Shake claws with the oligarchs. Supremacy. Well, we get more supremacy there. Which I like that. We do want more supremacy, so. Implement trade regulations. Versus free trade zones. I kind of prefer this one. So, I want to go down here. Secure the scaffold. But, ooh. Alien and get 100 more political power or more stability. Let's get the one that gives us more supremacy. I think that's just the way to go. Gryphon Moshin was a republic with a long history, one of the oldest on Gryphonia. While not the most efficient, their tradition of direct voting and governing positions has stood for centuries. It is important that we respect these ancient systems and allow the region to keep them in place. Of course, of course. More supremacy support? Probably. Never popular enough. Actually, no, get more naval stuff. I want big ships. I like big ships and I can't lie. How much rubber do we have? We actually have more than enough right now. Wow. And I apologize for that little ping. Huh. Eh, I'll grab one of these. I like these things. We have more than enough to build up a few more of these guys here. Boom. And go there and then go there too. Nice. We'll give some radar too. That'd be probably pretty good to get. And whip the party. Eh, sure, why not? We can. We gotta wait quite a... Okay, what the heck, guys? Um, I mean, technically... Fine, screw it, whatever. What was this? Some civvies, some civvies, some militaries, naval dockyard civvies, navies. Cool. And we do have enough for this. Let's grab Pegaside Divisions. Pegaside Divisions, nice. Well, we already have these guys, but a peasant's right. Oh, boy. What, do we have anything over here yet? No, let's go ahead and do then. The Mac 40 slash 2. A peasant's right. Reimer had been anything but enthusiastic after the Quillians had taken over the region. For all their bleeding about democracy, he hadn't much trust in them. Hadn't had much faith in the first revolutionaries either. Greifenmarsh has already built its own democracy and didn't need foreigners waltzing in to show them how it was done. That was why he, along with his neighbors, were so surprised as they sat in the barn watching the griffin that had come from the government. And therefore I want you all to rest fully assured that the government has plans to respect your current system. There will be no pu no, pu bleh, no new positions instated, nor will your methods of voting be tampered with in any way. You'll be able to continue voting how you've always done, that is our promise to you. The reedy little griffin stopped as Reinhardt's come up behind, beside him and put a huge claw on his shoulder. Well, slap my flank and call me a pony, so you Aquilians were genuine after all, he said. Grinning wildly as he shook the griffin's shoulder, come here, you deserve something for that. Helmet, he asked. Uh, being handed a large bottle at once and corking it open with a loud pop. There you go. Where are you staying? We're making stew tonight. Come over. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly. The bureaucrat protested meekly before having the bottle half tipped into his mouth through the cheers of the crowd. Roughly half an hour later, or ha an hour later, Reiner and the bureaucrat stumbled out of the barn, laughing and swaying as they began down the road towards Reiner's house, shouting of Vivre la Democratie, filling the air. Finally, some respect. Oh, yeah, we are pretty. We're the second smallest nation, or ideology here. That sucks. Oh, fine, whatever, they took that, whatever. Hatch Slam Blues. It is definitely the blues here. Oh, hello. Let me guess. Lakes, oh, Lake City. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course.
You're really gonna screw this up. Huh, Hellquill. Urbanize them? Eh, we're gonna wait too, so we can get some more uh, guys here. Work with the PAT, that's fine. We still get 0.87, which is not great, but ain't too bad. That could be a lot worse. Could be a lot, lot worse. How's everything looking around here? Improved infantry equipment's pretty darn nice. It is 1013, everyone. Let's see. Let's grab some more research speed, because we like the research speed here. It's not bad stuff. Changing a linear? Oh, boy. A bigger navy. Uh, get some better depth charges, because he can. <sighs> nice. Well, that sucks for you guys, but it looks like Quest is probably good. Oh, this is cancer. Wow, that sucks. Who's over here? Commonwealth of New Maryland. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, with the PDNA, why not? Get some water, too. Very, very good. Actually, we could probably use some air bases in here, too. I really do, wish I didn't guarantee them, but whatever. Wow, we lost... Did we lose some consumer goods? It looks like we lost some consumer goods or something. After this... Oh, Battle Fleet Concentration is very good as well. We keep going with that way. Because even though that's carrier stuff, whatever. Um, we'll go on, go ahead and... Limited Multilingualism. I don't want to lose that. Compliance growth is so good. Resistance struggle goes down. And we get some more political power, which I do like. The integration of Griffins within our borders to the cooling culture has always been a priority of the MPA. And we must double down on this goal towards the total conversion and unity of the nation. While some within our own party are calling this a step too far, President Rodier has made it clear that wiping the primitive cultures from Aquilia is a necessity. Cool. I love supremacy. Supremacy today. Supremacy tomorrow. Supremacy forever. I love that saying. I don't know why. Just it's very historical. We'll put it like that. Um, you actually, you guys actually need some fighters around here. They have too many guys there. Tech. We got a lot of tactical bombers. We do have a lot of planes. Like we've had a lot of time to build ourselves up. So. Oh. Okay. Well. Sounds like fun. Y'all head there and at least get one of these guys to go over there too. Um, I'll send you then over here too. Well, let's do it like this. Actually, if we can party, can we party die to these people? I kind of would actually like to see that. Okay, broad majorocracy. Oh, we saw this dude. Good. Uh, naval stuff. Can we go all the way there? Not quite yet, but we don't want to forget about all oh, these heavy cannons. Oh my goodness. Actually, if we can party dies. That would be pretty good for us, but I don't think he's going to die, so. Um, actually, since we're down here, might as well grab that, right? Yeah, they're getting attacked from all different sides. Uh, would you like us to come into the war? I wouldn't mind getting what whatever territory we could. Yeah, they, do, they definitely want to take that land for themselves. Uh, big sadness. Alright, go and do that one. We're getting more support every day. Oh, we can do some more. Oh, and there they go. Okay, then. Oh, that's disgusting. Why? Oh, oh I, I, get, I gotta get involved. No, 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 no. This goes to them. If you really want this territory. That's still pretty ugly. I'll be honest. That's pretty darn ugly. Um, border gore wise this is just... Oh, you have this too? Okay, then. That makes sense. Transfer it back over. And then you guys can actually have this back. Well, it's not great. That's so much better than it was before. So much better. Asterion. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, you guys actually just... You all come right there. That's fine. Keep training if you need it. So, don't worry about that. You might have to help out Hellquill as well, which is fine. Whatever. Um, You know what? Screw it. New task force. There you go. Train. Awesome. Reinforce integralism. Please. And... Uh, oh, we can't do anything else here. Okay, that's fine. Let's grab this one. Can we enter the battlefield? No. I'm do this one Assault section of proliferation, so we get 5% more attack and speed and later experience gain, and more stuff for land auction, which we still could use. So, Lake City and Declare War. Oh, Lushi, okay. And grab some of that too. Better cannons, better armor. Mr. Mocha Lover. Cool. Yep, phase two. Doesn't matter. So, we're gonna rename Ale Alouis to Ale Sur River. Oh, Aldenborg. Turinger Landdales and Noros Nordform is renamed to Nordafauma and Asselt is renamed to Ensel. Ah, Frenchization of the places, I see. 0.98, not great, but it is what it is. Please, guys, can you go kill these guys off? I, I just might just kill you off myself. 
Mm, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to. I'm real tempted to. But let's make sure we use our our allies down here to the best of our ability. Oh, why did you do? Oh, that's disgusting. Eastern Doctor Republic. Oh, the po oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Well, let's go do Ford Observers. More recon for the recon. Do we actually have recon on our soldiers? I don't think we do, do we? No, we don't. No, that's kind of a waste then. Hmm. It's only one more recon, though. Hmm. Well, there goes Broad Majorocracy. Goodbye, Broad. Cool. Well, since we're here, we're pretty much done with you guys. We'll upgrade the guys whenever we can. We get more anti-air as well. Oh, we need... Oh, God damn, we need radar, too. It's fine. Go back, go back. Go level 3 battleship armor. Level 2 heavy guns. We definitely need more naval PP. Or naval XP. Not PP. Probably not PP. There you go. Do that. Boom. Boom. Start making two because it takes so long to make, so. There you go. Uh, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Assault section proliferation. Anything else down here? Okay. And work with the PDNA. Uh, how many guys do we need for all this stuff? Because this is, this is a lot of stuff. This is quite a few. Quite a bit. Okay. It's so Queen of the Battlefield. Um, let's get this one. Armor grant research. Nice. We get another military factory, which is nice, too. Look at that uh, manpower we do have. We do have 29 army XP, so let's go ahead and edit these motor exhibitions. Oh my goodness, this is not very good. Uh, actually, instead of that, you lose quite a bit more defense with these guys. That's not very good, is it? Uh, we get a little more initiative. You lose quite a few things. We get a little more organization, though. You do lose a little bit of speed, so maybe getting them wasn't the greatest idea, but whatever. Um, remove, remove, 10 combo with is fine. Oh, we're not going to have enough for this, are we? Artillery, artillery. Oh, my goodness. Not enough. Big sadness hours, man. Big, big, big sadness hours. Going to do that and whip the party? Yeah, definitely do that. We definitely don't have nearly enough support. And we made those things already, which sucks, but that's all right. So the guys carrier roll. Let's go ahead and grab some better guns. That'd be nice. Or at least better, you know, fighting abilities. Uh, since we're here anyways. And you basically just start. I get rid of you guys. That's fine. Ah, you basically just start. Whatever. Get better cannons on these b bad boys. Ah, we definitely need that too, though. One, two. Looking not too bad. Actually, oh, I forgot about these things too. Secondary batteries. Oh. It's fine. Nice. Now we need some more aluminum. But that's pretty normal, isn't it? FJA is fine. Actually, we only get 13. I should have worked, don't work with a PAP or whatever. So then, we will have, what, 13 more guys? 223, 2, 236? I guess the game was rigged from the start. Yeah, I don't mind that one. The Griffonian Republic. Once the torch of the revolution, it was forced to flee north to Cloudsbury and sit and waiting for decades while the Empire decayed. Even now, they saw their eyes set on Griffenheim. Their pan-Griffonian ideals in conflict with their dreams for Aquilia. It's time to sniff out this dying flame once and for all. But very soon. Not yet, but very soon. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. Make sure you got enough soldiers over here. I want to make sure that we're all nice and good over there. Get some decryption, encryption, stuff like that. Cryptology, perfect stuff. Yum yum. Former department. That's very nice. Since we're here, I don't know what these guys are going to do. Let's take a look at what these guys have got going, though, for themselves. There we go. The armor research grant. And the game was rigged from the start. You know what? They're not going to attack. If we don't come into their aid, we'll probably just lose some stability, right? Is that it? The Siege of Rax? Alright. Because we do have... What was that? 50 divisions right there. And these guys have how many divisions? They could have a lot of divisions. Not gonna... That's a lot. We have 25 over here, which is probably not really enough. Alright. We do have a lot of planes that we could use here, though, so... One, two, three, four. Go right there. Two, three, four. A massive air force. One, two, three, four. Are these people leaving, coming and going? Uh, I guess they're just still deploying, technically, so... Let's get them again. Because you four... Well, you all go right there, that's fine. But, really, one, two, three, four, go right there. Get some better piercing. Nice. And here, we're gonna go... We're still making these god-awful early bombers, huh? One, two. And one, two. 
Nice. Form department, rate of interception group, get some uh get some of that going. There you go. New main hand explosion, very nice. Since we're here to do that. And over here, get some more supremacy support. Not bad. Still only get 1.34 every single day, but that's alright. The game was rigged from the start. Oh, I think we'll save this probably for the next time. I want to use these guys as much as possible. I still feel like we should go with a lone eagle, but expand the Legion Etrangera. I don't speak French. During the war, the Legion Etrangera served on the front lines with iron distinction, playing a critical role in many battles. This devoted group has proven their worth time and time again, and in return we shall expand the ranks to allow them to continue their faithful service. More supremacy, non-core pony power, division recovery, and war support. Sign us up. Yes, please. Alright, so we should have more than enough rubber and fuel, right? Plenty enough rubber and fuel. Keep building up our roads, which are going to be super important. Build up some more civvies, too, because those are super important as well. And, really? Military stuff? Let's get some, let's, let's, let's some dockyards. Great War's over. Yep. Even on a, on a historical. The question just still wins. C'est la vie. 236, not bad. Radio interception. Keep going, keep going. We could become a spy master. Oh, destroyers, yes, please. Let's get some uh, sonar first before we even make any of those guys. How are we doing? We got a lot of naval, dis naval stuff. Actually, we could probably start making this anyways. It's fine. It's level 3 anyways, so that's good. Um, rapid fire guns, 3. Get some anti air, mm, 3. Nothing there yet, which is fine, whatever. Level 2 is only okay. There you go. And uh, Bingo was his name -o, and Bingo was his other name -o. There you go. And this is why we're still mobilizing, but we can still use some more dockyards too. Because over here, we're looking pretty darn decent. Um, there you go. One, two, three, and there you go. Good. Thumbs up for me. Even though I need to really research radar. Holy crud. Work with the bats. Infantry anti-tank, and let's go ahead and do some of this one so we lose less soldiers and get better reinforced rate and a thing for military hospitals, which we won't really use, but that's alright. Get some better guns. Guns are nice. Phase 3, and what do we do here? Because next, that's what we're going to do, be just killing people a whole bunch. Upon completing the province of Califolois, or the Three Sisters Focus, we'll be able to core the state. Nice. 180 days, 150 days, 150, 150, that's so long, man. But it'll be worth it. The Commonwealth of Evi. Nice. Agent captured. Oh, no, 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 no. Operate. Oh, oh, these guys. You're already there. You're still down there. Oh, you're both over there. Wait, what? Oh, we have to do these guys down here. Wait, where is this? What do we have enough intel? I don't understand. Wait, why do we not have an intel yet? Let's do definitely do some radar. Oh, 24%. 23%. They're trying. What's the strength? Oh, the Griffin race doesn't help us here with that. Passive sonar is nice. Grab the next one, too. Still mobilizing, still mobilizing. And I still gotta get some more support in the uh, group here. Whip the party. Work with the FJA. I should have not done that one. That won't give us that much. We need more Pat, but we can't do much with them, so. That's alright. 0.64. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, we're losing basically 0.6 every single day. Nova Grifonia. What is it looking like over here? Not too bad, actually. Free changing hives. Not too bad. And again, if we can rescue him fast enough, that'd be really good. But we'll see what happens. There you go. How are our divisions doing? Have we, we haven't made any more divisions for a while now. We are, I guess we stopped training. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go to war with them. Oh, I can just scare, scare Skyfall. Uh, will this auto bypass? Or under direct control of us? That would be really good. So we don't have to use deputies for this stuff. That would be nice. Um, we'll do mass infantry mechanization. Why not? Cool, let's just kill them off. Hopefully. Call in our allies, though, too. Actually, how much manpower do they have? Not that much. They must have invested in a massive army. Up to 78 divisions, 48, yeah. Play war, call their allies in. Now they immediately begin attacking. Well, no, our allies start attacking. Alright, well. What if we started attacking? Alright, you guys definitely don't. Don't, don't, don't attack. Don't attack. You guys hold. You guys hold there. These guys might do relatively okay here. We'll definitely see what happens, though. Go in there so we can cut these guys off. 
Oh, oh, we did cut him off. That's nice. Losing some fuel. We lost 5,000. Oh my god, how much damage did that was that? Maybe I probably stop training and do this instead. Probably, so you don't die in the... Oh, that's, that's a good time, boys. Okay. How did they lose 116,000 already? We've killed off 90,000 of them. How? Holy crap! I mean, yeah, these guys are 40 combat, and these are thick, boys. And we, they're not thick. We don't love them. But, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's why we're not attacking here. These guys are actually pretty strong. The Republic, though. No wonder they were losing earlier. Did they not do land doctrine or something? We've killed off over 200,000 of them. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, of course, the Carthinians are helping us here, too. But still, like, holy crud, daddies. Let's come back over here and start doing some of this stuff, too. Holy crud, muffins, man. Anything over here? Ranger? Move faster? Yeah, why not? You guys? Nothing Nothing really there yet. Y'all, Eagleheart, just kind of just kind of chill out for now. Yeah, those guys are real strong, so we're going to wait. Active sonar? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Happy 1014, everyone. Hope you're having a great old year. Throw them over there. And let's get some sonar. That'll be nice. Boom. Get rid of that. Boom. And boomerinos. Cool. That should work out very nicely for us. Uh, no, I mean, having green air is super beneficial. Actually, are we still we're using tactical bomber twos? Yeah, huh. Could use a little bit more aluminum, of course. Work with the pat? Yeah, definitely do that one. Mutinies. Oh, we have mutinies in the army. Well, oh, we have less ability. Um, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. We can't do anything about that. Hold a patriotic speech, pretty much. This always works well for us, but hopefully this continues to go well for us. I hope so. I really hope so. What do we have over here besides ship stuff? Nothing? Okay. They should be out of manpower by now, right? Man, we're so out of PP. That's not good. That's so not good. Alright, so let's kind of reorganize ourselves here, shall we? Hello. We go all the way over there. Let's get some planning done. Planning is super, super important. And we can consolidate our resources for now. And if we need to, we can go ahead and uh, oh, try to rescue the guy. Yeah, that'd probably be pretty good to do. Yeah, rescue cost. There you go. Nice. Just kind of hang out for now. We've done a lot of damage. Equestria Annex of Buffalo Chiefdom. Kind of probably saw that one coming. It's fine. Whatever. Ooh, that's not good. We're not going to have any PP for this, but whatever. You know, if they attack us, that's... Oh, they're look, not looking good either. All right. Let's do this once so we get less supply issues, which I'm not saying we do have any of them right now, but you never know. And we're smart. We could actually probably do pretty darn well down here, especially with our allies guarding the land, so... Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good so far. Nice. It says you guys could probably win down here. I don't really believe you, so let's just keep going with what we're doing for now. Euphonia? Oh, you could use maybe a little bit more support. Then you could probably win the battle. Hey, the guys are going there and doing that. Great job. Head on in. Over here, our allies are really trying hard. Rate of detection final. Let's get the next level. Rate of detection. Forward observers are nice. And we'll finish, almost finish our land auction with this. More organization. Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get our navy in there. Otto Saxhagen Plumenja. Sink him, sink him, sink him, sink him. Nice. Oh, we're getting invaded in Toulouse. Well, that sucks. Nice. It's 1014. So let's come back over here. 1013. Yes. Engineers. Yes, please. Oh, here's an. Oh, crud. That's a pride of their fleet. Oh, boy. Um, Wowzers. And Bowsers. Oh, wow. Combine you all together. Actually, do you have any upgrades over here? Silencer. Eh. If you use torpedoes, make him go kaboom. And lots of kabooms. These guys gotta be out of manpower, right? Skyfall? Yes, they are. So, the more attacks we do, the less... They're both. What are we fighting for? If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. This happens every single time. At least we got some stability from that, but that costs us so much PP. That's ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. Recon? Well, recon kind of doesn't mean too much to me right now. Get more construction speed. Any damage you do, they can't mm, beat us back. Penguin, I mean, this is very costly to do, but still. Alright, so you guys are kind of sucking right now, so go ahead and stop. Get some planning done. It's always good to plan. And we'll probably just manually do this from here on out. 
Oh man, this is really bad around here, isn't it? Old beacon. Nice. And we're gonna win there too. Nice. Cut these guys off. Cut off Skyfall from the rest of the nation. Let these guys struggle and let's bring out their navy. Because we combined all our ships together. Nice, 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 nice. And anything else we can do here? Technically we can still do this one. Eh, it doesn't really matter though. Railway industrialization. Or I wanted to really do this one. I think this would be nice. It decreases the stuff, but we get more compliance growth speed, which I really, really like. The provinces of Les Greifen Greifen Marches. Ooh, that's not bad. I like that too. We lose political power though. Hmm. We'll also core old Wingberg and thus Oh, we can complete the third phase. Huh. Ignore the messes. Messes. We have centralization increase. I want more population. Railway centralization. All across the new Aquila. Aquilia. The railways that link the nation are all loosely tied together, separately owned by different companies. So unify this means of transportation in the nation and standardized rail lines will merge all these corporations into one state sponsored entity, easing the construction of new rail. Nice. Alright, so how are they doing over here? Are they attacking us? They're out of manpower completely. Which is very good. They have a lot of equipment, though. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of equipment. We're slowly running out of stuff here. Oh, that's not bad. We got the cryptology done. Nice. Oh. Oh, wait. What do we lose? Why do we... Why do we lose guys here? Hold on. Hold on. Let's take a look at this. So, we sunk one of their pride of the fleets. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Why did this cancel? What happened to our dip? Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, that sucks. Now let's do the naval reform plan. That'd be good. Oh, we can't. Oh, because we had a coalition detractions, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Oh, we're not gonna have enough PP for that. You know what? We're not gonna do it. Let's just double up our PP gain. What if y'all just did like this or something? You might actually be able to win that way. Uh, they might do last stand here eventually, but you never know. I'll get go with this. Yakiyakistan, very nice. Those guys will guard those guys pretty easily, so that'd be nice. Whatever. Uh, head into there too. Oh, we're missing. Or are we missing guns? We actually might be, huh? Uh, let's grab some better. Just there you go. We're actually out of guns. Oh, that's that usually never happens. But okay. Well, we could use more millies. Actually, we could lower this by five, probably. Lower this by five, too. There you go. Uh, oh, they actually naval invaded. Look at that. Nice. Sack of Skyfall. Good, good, good. Go in, everybody. Follow it up with Jean Lafitte. Fortress Buster. Go in, go in, go in. Oh, yeah, guys. We'll take stuff. Submachine guns? Nice. And those guys all died. And actually, I'm going to pull you guys back just because it looks really bad around here. So, that'll be good. Oh, there you go. Something like that. I don't really care. Actually, no. The supply is that bad. I'm not going to... Oh. Okay, then. Well, it looks like you guys could probably win. Good luck, guys. And head on in. Nova Grafonia? Sure, why not? Commando training is very nice. We can do that. Disperse industry and grab some streamlined line. Better radar as well. Nice. Yeah. Fall of Cloud Bear. I don't think these guys can keep it up either. They have a little bit of manpower left, but any damage you do, they cannot uh, recover from. So, Hey, you got everyone back. Cancel Lunlace. What do you mean, man? What do you mean? Uh, okay. Okay. We can't really put, them, put a lot of these people here, huh? That's kind of sucks. There you go. What's going on down here? Not bad. And we can do that, finally. Alright, let's go ahead and do this one, then. Let's do the naval plan for realsies. We really are out of a lot of guns. That really sucks. A destroyer and a destroyer. Nice. 10, 14, better art. Oh, I've not done artillery in a while. Oh, my mistake. I don't care what the cost is. You keep attacking. The fall of Vetter? We've done 67, 66% of all the stuff. We've killed off personally. Almost half a million. Wing Bardi's done more damage, but they've lost probably a lot. Yeah, 300,000. Roughly three times their casualties. A bunch of crazies over there. 
Alright, not bad. We can probably work with a pad too, that's fine with us. Interrogation techniques. Naval department. Scott. Scott for Republic fell. Um, okay. Well, I thought they already fell before, but whatever. Help put down some resistance here. Holy crap, Rotten Dam is bad. Holy smoky daddies. No wonder they're taking so much attrition. Advanced fire base, and we'll finish off our land auction with. Shock and all. Awesome. Come on, guys. These guys are literally starving here. Even though we're probably literally starving here, too. Oh, the Fiat to Naval Claim. If you want to do about that, please go right ahead. Uh, which way did we go? I don't remember. Oh, we need more fuel. Oh, that's so bad. I'm glad I looked up. Uh, fleet and Beat. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And let's go with Secret Skyfall. No, we don't need to do that. Um, let's do Marine Technology. We could do that one, probably. Naval effect. I'll do this one. Cool. Let's import some more fuel. Because we could probably definitely use some more. So, oh, yes. Very good. Very, very good. That should definitely help us out here. Near majority for the princesses. Very cool. Very cool. How many divisions do they have left? 32. And we guys still can't really do too much of anything here, can we? Go in, go in. Or maybe just laggy to the point where we can't really do too much, so. If you guys really want to, to help maybe spread things out a little bit better, we can do something like that, so. I think I'm just going to take everything up here. I don't know if Wing Body really wants all this northern territory, so. Go up there, please. And then get some more extraction, because we could really use it now, especially for fuel. Oof. Neighbor department, airport department, very good. Please just cut these guys off. Like that. Well, we've personally killed off over half a million. Wing Barty's only doing well because of us, but yeah, we did call him in, but whatever. Become a spy master, why not? Cool. And work with the FJA? Yes, please. And now we're completely out of fuel. That kind of sucks. Hey, not bad. Not bad. They should capitulate soon. Oh. Whoa! Wait, 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 when did we get all this stuff? No wonder we're out of fuel. What the heck? Wait, how did we get all this? What the? Um. Wow. Okay. No wonder we're out of fuel. I'm going to tell you guys just go home. You guys don't look great, but okay. Improved artillery, nice. Good, even better artillery, I guess. Wow. Even better infantry, or infantry, radio. And there we go. So I'm going to do this off screen, but if you enjoyed the video, do please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue waging war across the continent and making this place better for everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.